Next auth just released their 0.5.0 release candidate about 20 hours ago. This does have some changes and actually conveniently enough, they introduced this guest mode, which is right about what I wanted to teach you in regards to authentication and middleware. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to copy this and plug it into our projects package.json. And then I'm going to npmi to install it. Once that's all installed, we are going to search through our entire project, which is just app.view for use session. And we're going to update it with use auth, our new composable. So everywhere there's use session, you want to rename to use auth which makes sense. It's a lot more explicit. I don't think everybody knows what session stands for. Now that we replaced that, let's go to our third step, which is going to be remove r.nuxt, um, or you can just manually delete this as well. And now if you see us run dev, you'll actually see a new .nuxt up here. Here we go. Um, and now I'm going to just close our terminal and everything should be running just fine. Sweet. All good. Okay. Next I want to do is actually take our code out of the app.view and we're, we're going to start playing with pages. So first things first, we'll just move all of this code that we have in app.view. Uh, well, pretty much all of it. We're going to replace this with next page component, put that in there. And we can take this entire script tag out and move it into index. So again, everything should be fine. Just got to refresh. Um, and the reason we're going to do that is I want to start introducing new pages. So let's do a protected dot view and we can do template h1. Hey, I'm protected. And the goal of this page is, um, just for authenticated users to be able to see. And we'll just do a public dot view for the opposite. Hi, I'm public. And so how do we do that? Right now we can view both of these. Hi, I'm public. Oops, what's the other one? Protected. Hi, I'm protected. Um, but I'm not logged in. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce here is middlewares. One way we can manage middleware is using this auth keyword within our Nux config to enable global app middleware. By setting that to true, and let's go back into our site, we now can't see any pages. We can't see public, we can't see homepage. Um, all this, what this does is it redirects every single page back to our login. But then once we log in, we can see everything again. But once we log out, boom, right back out to the login screen. And um, for some, that can be good. For others, not so much. I personally, you know, I want a landing page. I want public pages as well as private pages. So for now, I'm actually going to just comment this out because we're going to come back to it. What we can instead do is define, um, let's go to protected. And let's define a script. You know, I'll just copy and paste this from the docs. Boom. So here we just have this de define page meta middleware auth. And so if we did everything right, we should be able to go to all of our pages. So we can go home and we can go to public, but we cannot go to protected. Protected redirects us to the sign in. So now if we sign in, oh, reauthorization required, that's fine. Um, now we can view protected. And again, we can view home and public. So that's pretty neat. I like that. Um, in fact, this is probably the route I would take, um, but it, it does have some potential scalability issues. Um, if you want, defining the meta in every single component might not be ideal. Now, what just came out in this latest version is an idea of a guest page. So we can actually define meta within our guest. Oops, 
Here's guest. Hi, I'm for guests only. And this is kind of neat. Um, we can actually do auth keyword. And in here, we'll do unauthenticated. You know, I'll just copy this as well. Um, we could do unauthenticated only. And if you're authenticated, let's navigate to protect it. So what that's saying is this page guessed, the only way you can see this page is if you're authenticated. So let's try, if I'm guessed, great. Now let's go to home, oh. Oh, you know what I missed? This is why I wanted to come back to it later. You need to enable global auth middleware. Now, an unroute auth valid middleware. Let's see here. Oops. There we go. Okay, so it looks like what, I, what was erroring out here is I had to find page meta. So you, it looks like you cannot have um, I have a feeling that was overlapping in a way that was not ideal. Because here I'm trying to say navigate's protected. Um, so now, back to the example, we're protected. We can see everything. But if we try to go to guest, it sends us back to protected. And that could have all sorts of use cases as well. I'm thinking like a custom sign-in page. And in fact, we'll probably look into that in the next video.